Hello everyone and welcome to Van Tech Corner. In this video, we are going to check out Wi-Fi or wireless connection on the N5105 router PC. And in order to set up, I'm going to use the DR900VX from Wally Tech. So here is the module and you can see that it have trees antenna connector. However, the N5101 only have two antenna. So I'm going to check out the two antenna first. And then if the performance is not really good, we can always install another antenna later. In order to get started, you will need a wireless module that is compatible with OpenWRT. And then we will need some antenna connector to connect the wireless module to the case and after that we will need some antenna for sure. So let's go and install everything together and after that we are going to connect the power cable, Ethernet cable and power on the device to configure it. Alright so right now we are inside 192.168.1.1 and let's log into the Lucy dashboard. So after we have installed the wireless module, if you go to network and wireless, you should see the generate a 2 the 11 bgs radio show up, but it is not activated. It is because we have yet to install the driver. However, from this result, you can see that the device is really detected. And besides checking the wireless overview, you can also run the LSPCI command to check that and basically in order to use the LSPCI command, you can install the PCI utility package, this one. So right now, if I go to 192.168.1.1, we added H. And after I type in LSPCI, I will see my wireless network adapter show up. You can see that Qualcomm Atlas QCA986X or 9AAX, A02.11AC wireless network adapter. So we know that it is detected by the N5105 router PC or your x86 PC. So now in order for the wireless module to work, we will need to install the driver and the firmware. So basically for this device, we have two types of driver and firmware. One were made by Canada technology and it's had a high performance, higher throughput, but some of the features may not really work. Let's say it's the fast roaming or the wireless mesh networking. However, the performance is really good. So in order to use the CT or the Canada technology version, you need to install this firmware. You can see that it ends with CT and this KMOS ATX10KCT, which is the driver for it. And if you don't want the CT version, you can go with the normal one, the standard one, which is this one, and then this one. And the last one will be the host AP. This one will allow you to set up the encryption for your wireless, all right? So now let's go to the shortware and update the list. And after that, we're going to install the package one by one. For this video, I will be using the firmware from Canadella Technology. So first of all, let's install this package. Search and install. So I will get the full HTT. And Right now, I will make the video. So if you are about to use the same module, you can just include this packet to your build. And then the next one will be this one. All right. CT install. And the last one is the host AP. Very good. So now we can go and reboot the rotors and after that it should be ready to use. The device is ready. Let's go back to the Lucy. After that, let's go to network and wireless. 
And this time we can see that the device is automatically activated and we have the Qualcomm Atoras QZ9AA0 up and running. So for my case, because previously I already used one of the similar module, so the interface was activated by default, and I don't need to activate the LSID. So let's go and click the edit button, and then let's configure it. Alright, so the multi AC, the channel is 36, I'm going to change it to 60, the width is 80, the maximum transmit power is 23, the country is will be US, and after that, I'm going to set up a password for it. So it will be my own password, very good. So basically that's it, and then make sure that the device, the LSID is attached to the LAN network. Save and then save and apply. Now, if I open my wireless connection, I should see the OpenWRT LSID show up. So let's connect to it. And then I will start the iPub3 server and we're going to have a quick throughput test. Alright, so right now you can see that I have a device connected, the RX Ray 866 Mbps. So from my PC, let's go and check out the link speed. So we do see that the link speed is A66 plus A66, the network channel is 60, and then it is very good to proceed. So I'm going to minimize this one, disable my ethernet connection so that the PC is connected to the router via Wi-Fi. After that, let's open CMD and then go to the ipub3 rise and run it so ipub3.c 192.168.1.1 and very good we are having around 380 mpps per second so let's run the test again this time with two streams at the same time and still we are having around 400 mpps this is good to see. Let's have another test with P4. So far, we have successfully configured the Wally DR900VX module to work with the N5101 router PC. And from my understanding, a lot of companies are selling this module with a different name, but basically they are using the same Qualcomm QCA9AAX SOC or chipsets. And you should be able to find some uh, under the compact edges or, or the print. And I will try to list out some of the module in the video description. So. That will be all for this video and in the next one we are going to check something further. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.